So our model allows study of the post-transcriptional modulation of a specific transcript in alveolar epithelial cells in primary culture under physiological and pathophysiological conditions. So the transient transfraction of primary alveolar epithelial cells has minimal effect on cell physiology and metabolisms, which poses a clear advantage over classic protocols using transcription inhibitors. For the generation of a response plasmid expressing a gene of interest, the sequence of the gene and the multiple cloning sites of the inducible vector have to be analyzed to identify the recognition sequences in the multiple cloning sites that are not present internally in the gene. Using high-fidelity TAC polymerase and standard overlap PCR techniques, Flank the gene of interest with two selected restriction enzyme recognition sites using designer primers. A sequence encoding the V5 epitope upstream of the gene of interest must be included to distinguish the expression of the transfected gene from endogenous expression. Mutants can be generated by sequential deletion to study the effects of different three prime untranslated regions on the stability of the mRNA of the gene using reverse primers encoding a polyadenylation site that gradually deletes the three prime end of the untranslated region. Ultimately, the insertion of the gene of interest can be confirmed by restriction analysis.